Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to install Cyber Panel on your VPS. Okay, here I am logged into my VPS. Uh, the first thing we want to do is make sure the system's updated. So we go yum update. And it is. Perfect. The next thing we need to do is disable SE Linux. So to do that, I've already installed nano. So I'm just going to go uh, sudo nano. And then it is slash etc SE Linux slash config and we'll go down and we change se linux to disabled we save that and we exit that cool the next thing we need to do is we need to uh download the sh installer so we'll do wget installer.sh uh, and that address Cool, now it's done. Now we just need to uh, allow it to run. So we're going to uh, put a chmod 755 installer.sh, hit enter. Great, now we can write sh installer.sh. All right, so we'll go through it together. Detecting it. All right, now it says uh, you're running in root, which is fine. Uh, press one to install Cyber Panel. So we'll go push one and enter. Uh, now, do you want to install Cyber Panel with Open Light Speed or Light Speed Enterprise? We're going to go one Open Light Speed. Do you want to install the full service Cyber Panel? Yes, we do. No, we don't want Remote MySQL. And we're going to hit enter because um, it's saying, do you want to continue with the latest version? Yes, we do. Please choose to use a default admin. Yes, that's fine. We'll just go default for now because you can change it later. Do you wish to install memcache? Yep. Do you wish yes to install Redis? And yes to that. As you can see, pretty simple. You just say yes to most things, unless you are you know what you're doing and you want to configure it further down the track. So it's going to go off and install this. Um, we'll come back once it's installed. All right, so it's finished. So here we are. If you scroll up, you'll see the web address that you need to put in and the username and password. Um, it also asks you to restart the service before you log in. So I've already done that. So we can just go and copy this. paste it up here um, don't worry about this you can add a SSL certificate later great so now we just enter in admin one two three four five six seven I think it is and now you're in so um, that's how you install cyber panel if you have any questions give our support team a call or send us a support ticket have a great day until next video See you next time.